guys the lady be here and today i am back with another video and in this video we are going to be doing a demo slash review on the new hocus pocus times ColourPop um collaboration that they did now this line was dropped last week i was in puerto rico so i did not get a chance to get it when it first dropped um which, by the way, last week was my birthday. Saturday was my birthday. So I did do a vlog on my Puerto Rico birthday trip during the pandemic. So if you guys are interested in that, I will have that scrolling somewhere. So be sure to check that out. This full, I know I look a little crazy, but this is my um, drugstore foundation routine for the winter. So if you guys are interested in this, this will be probably after this video. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys what I was able to get my hands on. This was literally the last palette that they had in Ulta when I went in there yesterday to pick it up. So we are just going to do a quick little demo slash review on the new ColourPop slash Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters palette. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss an upload every single time I upload. And let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, y'all. So like I told y'all from the beginning, this is the ColourPop Times Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. If you guys haven't already saw it, this is what it looks like. And then on the back, it has all of the names on of the eyeshadows. And it is 5, 10, 15 different colors. And um, I love the name. So it's Full Moon, Hello Salem, Brew Potion, On Toast, Coven, I call it a bus, Yabos, Thackeray Binks. Oh, that's cute. Thackeray Binks. Tis Farm, Come Little Children, Witch, Night of Frolic, Dead Man's Toes, Bewitched, and Goodbye Cruel World. Ooh, my nose is running. Okay, so if you guys don't know about Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus was like, it is the all-time Disney Halloween movie. Like, it's everything. I still watch it till this day. I have my kids hooked on it. Like, I absolutely love it. It's about the three sisters, the three witches who come back, the virgin, lit the candle, all that good stuff. If you haven't seen it, Disney has it. It's going to be all of October. You can catch it. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, okay. So my palette was a little bit busted. It's not too bad. And as you can see at the very top, here are the three sisters. So these were the three witches that the boy awoke. Um, it comes with these beautiful colors, which I actually thought that some of these were, um, I thought these two were more red, more red, but they're actually purple. I thought they were more red in the, um, when I looked on the site. So it has some matte shades, it has some shimmer shades, and it has one that looks like it could be, um, a glitter. So I'm going to do probably this green shade that's really what i wanted it for and this green shade right here is bewitched let me swatch it for you guys so that's what it looks like very very pigmented so i think i'm going to use that color for this look and we're just going to try some other colors as well so we're just going to go ahead and just jump right into the video for starters i'm going to use my tarte shape tape for an eyeshadow base Now, what I was telling you guys was I've absolutely, I've always loved the Hocus Pocus, like I always do. And I saw somewhere that it was saying that they may be making another one. I feel like this movie was a classic and you just need to leave it where it is. We don't need another one. We just need y'all to leave it alone and just continue to release it as y'all do. We don't need y'all to do anything else with it because then I feel like y'all gonna mess it up. All right, so for starters, we are going to start off with this lighter shade here, which is on toast. And I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. And I'm going to be using a Morphe M504 brush to do so. So let's see what the color payoff for this is. Now we know Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus. We know ColourPop, there's a lot of fallout here, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There is a lot of fallout. Um, we know that Hocus, Jesus Christ. We know that ColourPop comes with it when it comes to, you know, their shadows, color payoff, and all of that good stuff. Um... So I'm just putting this in the crease and I mean the payoff is pretty standard. I mean it's just a neutral color that I'm using as a transition shade. So we're just going to pack that in until I get the payoff that I want. Okay. 
So now that we've got that place where I want it, I will say just off like blending it, it's not as smooth as I'm used to ColourPop's shadows being. I don't know if it's because of the base that I use or what, but it does not go as smoothly as I'm used to them doing. It's not bad. It's not terrible, but it's just not what I'm used to. So the next color that I'm going to use um, is going to be this, I call it bust color here. And it's like a, but there's, there's a little bit of shimmer in this black. It's almost like it's black, but it looks like it has like gold in it as well. So I'm just going to try and see what that does. And I'm just going to start off using a little bit of that. And I'm going to use a Morphe M503 brush to kind of add this right underneath where I put that um, on toast. And I'm just going to be gentle with this just because it is dark. And I don't want... I don't want it to go everywhere. I'm also noticing that, well, let me not speak too soon just yet. Let me, let me just see what, what happens. Okay. So now that I've got that, you really can't see like the gold glitter that's in it so that's not bad what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with this Morphe M504 brush but I'm gonna get a clean one and I am just going to use this brush to start blending that black out and this is just a clean M504 yeah M504 brush and I'm just going to blend that out so that this won't be so harsh Okay, so now it's time for my lid color. So I'm going to go in with that um, Bewitched first. And I'm going to just use this as a base. I'm going to go in with Be Bewitched first. And then I'm going to top it with the Yabos. Which is, um, it's like a green, ir not iridescent, but it's like a green. Um, and it has like gold. It looks, it might look gold, but it's actually like green in person. So I'm just going to use the Bewitched first. And I'm, then I'm going to go over it with that um, Bewitched. And this is actually looking like it's um, almost looking like it's black. Huh. Let me try a different kind of brush because I don't know if that brush is clean or not. So I'm going to... Because I'm not sure what is happening and why is it looking black. So... <laughs> It looks more, I mean, you can see that it's green, but it also looks kind of black as well. I'm not mad at it. It just makes it uber smoky, which I'm not mad at it at all. I actually really like the way it came out. I just wasn't expecting it to be so dark. Now I'm going to go on top with Yabos, which is that, um, like that shimmer shade that I was telling you guys about. Ooh, I love it. And I'm just going to place it. In the middle. I'm not going to put it all over the lid. But I'm just going to put it in the middle. Yeah. I am not mad at that. So what I'm going to do now is. I'm just going to take everything that I put at the top. And I'm going to put it at the bottom. Add some lashes. And then come back and let you guys know. What I think about the palette. And then I'm also going to do some swatches for you guys. For the other colors that I did not use. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the completed look with using the new ColourPop Times Hocus Pocus um, Gather Around Sisters palette. Now, let's talk about it really quickly before I do the swatches for you guys. Overall, I'm not mad at the palette. Like I said, it, uh, it came with 20 different colors and it retailed for $22. That is not bad for this palette, especially being a Disney classic. I'm not mad at it. 
do I think that the palette was constructed well yes as far as like the aesthetics of it, the whole theme of it, I feel like this was really dope, especially because they have the three witches, then they have the chondral that, you know, they brewed everything on. I love the fact that they have the names on the back of them. I think that is really, really neat and really pretty. However, comma, um, I'm not a fan of how the colors blended out as you got, I left this the way that I wanted it to so that you guys can see. There's a lot of fallout here as well as here. Um... Which, like I said, I'm not used to that with ColourPop Shadow. I also feel like the blending is not what I'm used to. It did not blend as well as I am used to ColourPop's colors doing. Really didn't like that. But overall, I feel like if you are a Hocus Pocus fan, then I feel like you would like the palette. Now, I don't know about the rest of the collection because when I went on site, they were sold out. As well as when I went in stores, they were sold out. This was like the only thing that they had left. So I don't know about everything else. But will I use it again? It's probably not something that I would gravitate towards. I really only got it to give it to you guys and then to just have it as a collector's item because I do love Hocus Pocus and Disney. But um, let me give you guys some swatches really quickly on some of the colors that I did not use. So this is Brew Potion. And I can already tell you that while it may be pretty, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me come in a little bit closer. There was the way that it swatched, it just, I don't know, it didn't do it for me. Um, I'm going to try Tis Firm, which it's coming off a little bit chalky, but it is a very pretty color. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's try another one. I'm going to give you guys Night of Frolic, which is like a burgundy purple color, which is also coming off very chalky. Um, the color payoff is beautiful though, but it's, it's, they are chalky. They're very chalky. Uh, let's see. Let me give you guys another one. This is a winch and it's almost like an iridescent gold silver color. Can you guys see that? It's, it's almost like ashy in a way. Like it's, it's, it's ashy. Now this is Come Little Children and this one I'm actually really excited about. Oof, or not. Okay. Um, oof, okay. Come Little Children is here. Let's see. It's, it's this one here. And it almost makes my hand look like it may be bruised. I don't know. So... Let's do, let's do one more. Let's see. Dead me toes. Dead man toes. Uh, again, let me, let me just show y'all what I mean. Like, you can see my hand. Look how chalky. It's, it's, it's chalky. But I cannot lie, the color payoff is beautiful. It's just extremely chalky. It is, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not... I can't give it a full on, oh my God, go out and purchase it. I just feel like it's not the best for me personally. It's not the best as far as the formulation and everything goes. The color payoff is, is the color payoff is good. I just feel like that formulation is not the best from what I know ColourPop to be. We're used to ColourPop's um, products being very soft. We're used to them being very blendable. But this just was not it for me. Maybe I should try like a different base as well as like different colors. Like like I said, I'm I'm happy with how this came out. I just, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, guys. So I would not recommend you go out and buy this palette if it's not solely for just having it because you love Hocus Pocus. But that's just my honest review. Um, of course, I know you guys probably will watch other people who may feel a little bit differently, but this is just my honest review. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this quick little demo slash tutorial slash review, um, and swatches on the new ColourPop Times Hocus Pocus collaboration, just the eyeshadow palette. This is again, the Gather Round Sisters eyeshadow palette. I got it from Ulta. It is exclusive to Ulta that I know of. You can get it online as well as in store. Online it was sold out when I checked yesterday. The girl said that, um, well, that may have just been for the store that I, that 
is here where I am. But you can check your stores, you can check online, and you can also sign up for the email me when back in stock if you want it and it's not currently there. So yeah, that's going to be it on this look, on this what I think about it. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss an upload every single time I upload. Also, if you're not following me on social media, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Delana B underscore on Instagram and Delana B on Facebook. If you have not checked out my Puerto Rico vlog, I did go to Puerto Rico this past weekend to celebrate my 31st birthday. So go ahead and check that out for me. Also, this full entire look will be live in a few days. So Make sure you check that out as well and any other videos that you have missed from me. In the meantime, in between time, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.